At the beginning of the year, Dick Van Dyke was listed as one of the celebrities most likely to pass away in 2023. This came as a shock to fans who have since been nervously awaiting bad news. And now Dick has apparently suffered a car crash. But it appears Dick is doing okay physically, but the accident has apparently resulted in the 97-year-old having to retake his driving test. Join Facts First as we take a look at how Dick Van Dyke was injured in a car crash and police revoked his license. In late March of 2023, it was reported that Dick Van Dyke had gotten into a single car crash while he was behind the wheel. The Mary Poppins star is now 97 years old, making him one of the oldest living celebrities around. The fact that he's still able to get out and drive himself is quite the feat, but this recent accident may change that. The consequences of the accident were not nearly as large as they could have been, considering the fact that Dick is believed by many to be at death's door. But he didn't get off scot-free. The car crash happened in Malibu, California, and saw Dick lose control of his vehicle and accidentally collide into a gate. The first thing authorities wondered was whether he was sober. Many decades ago, he had a pretty serious problem with alcohol, but he's been clean for many years. It seems Dick was of perfectly sound mind when he crashed his vehicle. The thing that made him lose control was a thick sheet of rain coating the roads. The area had been suffering from some serious rainfall for quite some time, and it appears Dick's car simply hydroplaned into the gate. He was driving a 2018 Lexus LS500 at the time of the accident. It's unclear what kind of shape the car is in, but the actor himself is doing okay. First responders claimed the actor was bleeding from his mouth and his nose when they first showed up on the scene, and it was speculated he had perhaps suffered from a concussion. Hospital care was advised for the elderly icon, but he flat out refused the ambulance trip. Instead, Dick made his way home as if nothing had happened. Dick is no average 97-year-old man. Though Dick has been a favorite in celebrity death pools for years, based on his age alone, he's actually incredibly healthy and physically active. Dick endeared himself to fans as a dancer during his career, and he's never stopped. According to the actor, he still can't help but tap his feet whenever he finds himself on solid ground. Staying active keeps Dick alive and in good spirits, so it's not too surprising he was able to recover from his recent car crash fairly quickly. Another thing that helps Dick stay in good spirits is his wife. He's been married twice, once to first wife Margie Willett from 1948 to 84. Since 2012, he's been married to Arlene Silver. Given that she's in her 50s, she's no spring chicken, but the fact that she's nearly half her husband's age has led to many jokes about Dick robbing the cradle. It seems Dick and Arlene get along swimmingly and share a youthful spirit. Arlene also helped her husband out when it came to his recent appearance on the show The Masked Singer. Dick Van Dyke has been keeping himself active in many ways as of late, perhaps because he's privy to the fact that so many people are expecting him to drop dead at any moment. Besides paying homage to his original Mary Poppins role in 2018's Mary Poppins Returns, he notably appeared on The Masked Singer recently. He showed up during the premiere of the ninth season and ended up being the first celebrity figure to be unmasked. When it came time for him to perform, judges Jenny McCarthy and Ken Jeong had a very hard time guessing who he was. Dick mildly impressed the judges on The Masked Singer. Before it was determined that the masked singer in question was Dick Van Dyke, some of the guesses the judges blurted out included Dustin Hoffman, Robert De Niro, and Tony Bennett. When Dick heard his voice being compared to Dustin Hoffman and Robert De Niro, he got upset because those aren't figures known for their great singing voices. But being compared to Tony Bennett helped boost his self-esteem. The actor predicted that none of the judges would be able to accurately guess who he was behind the mask, and he ended up being right. During his performance, he sang the Frank Sinatra classic, When You're Smiling. According to Dick, the producers wanted him to choose a song that was a bit more modern. But a problem arose when it was revealed that Dick didn't even have a cursory familiarity with any of the modern hits being suggested. That's when wife Arlene stepped in and suggested the Sinatra song. Given the air of secrecy that's kept on the set of The Masked Singer, Dick Van Dyke claimed he didn't even get a chance to meet any of the show's judges. In addition to Ken Jeong and Jenny McCarthy, these also include Robin Thicke and Nicole Scherzinger. According to Dick, he was blindfolded before being brought out of his car into the studio, and he remained either blindfolded or masked for the duration of his participation. To keep him from falling, people guided him around. When it was revealed Dick had been eliminated, the 97-year-old performer took the news with a positive attitude. He broke into a brief rendition of the Mary Poppins classic Supercalifragilistic Expialidocious, leaving fans with a spoonful of sugar in their mouths. 
To this day, Dick considers his appearance in Mary Poppins to be the height of his career. He says getting to work with Walt Disney was a dream come true, and he went on to do it a couple more times before the legendary mogul's death. Dick still reminisces about filming Mary Poppins. Getting the chance to appear on the big screen in Mary Poppins was a big deal for Dick Van Dyke, but that doesn't mean everything was going well in his life around that time. The 1960s was the period when Dick's aforementioned alcoholism was at its worst. He claims everyone in his life was drinking heavily at the time, and he had nowhere to turn for a positive influence. During the filming of Mary Poppins, his alcoholism allegedly became so bad that he considered suicide. But his alcoholism also left him rather unceremoniously, with the actor claiming he simply woke up one day and no longer thought alcohol tasted good. Since then, numerous decades have passed without the performer having any kind of relapse. That has certainly helped him stay active and healthy into his twilight years. Other notable things he's done in recent years include paying a tribute to a speech he gave at a civil rights rally in 1964, as well as some modest philanthropy. In 1964, he delivered a speech at a civil rights rally that was keynoted by Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. On the late King Jr.'s most recent birthday, Dick dug up an old copy of his speech and performed a rendition of it for YouTube. He's always been passionate about humanitarian causes. In 2022, Dick was spotted handing out $5 bills to people hanging out in front of the Malibu Community Labor Exchange. He's also done many other philanthropic things over the years. He volunteered at a homeless shelter in L.A. for about two decades, and he's the spokesperson for several altruistic medical foundations. As a result of his varied philanthropic efforts, he was awarded the Prince Rainier III Humanitarian Award in 2014 by the Princess Grace Foundation. The award included a prize of $25,000 that was donated to Dick's charity of choice. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you know that Dick Van Dyke just got into a car crash and many are predicting he will die soon? Let us know in the comments section below.